Hi guys, here I am with uh, Wajid Farid. Uh, Wajid is a one and all. He comes from uh, the uh, Charles Martin Martial Arts in Doncaster, fighting our second fight tonight against Josh Mottram. Uh, Wajid, uh, how are you feeling today, mate? You're looking, you're looking in good shape. Yeah, I'm great, pal. How about yourself? I'm very well indeed, thank you. Very well indeed. Um, obviously, you're down from Doncaster. You've got a couple of teammates fighting with you tonight. Um, have you got any special preparation for this guy? Um, nah, I've uh, just been training hard, really. I mean, I'd about a month and a half, two months training camp, and yeah, just been training hard, really. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. Well, I mentioned to your friend there before. You've got a, you're from a, an area of the country that's just yeah. had a, a recent good signing of the UFC yeah. with Danny Mitchell. Yeah, yeah. Um, you've got some solid guys up there in Doncaster. Mm. Some really good training. So I'm assuming they've been putting you through your paces. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, every day really, it's working hard. I mean, two sessions a day. You know, every day. Like it, yeah, like yeah. it. We've been working. Okay. Um, any predictions for tonight? Um, see how it goes. I mean. Knockout submissions, yeah, just hopefully a finish, yeah. Excellent. So go. Anybody you want to thank? Um, everyone, really. I mean, everyone drove me here, you know, Cassid, you know, uh, Jamshad, all my training partners, you know, Rich, Dorian, my coaches, Charlie, Dom, Steve, everyone, yeah. Excellent. Andy, everyone, yeah. Excellent. Well, look, you seem really keen. You've got a yeah. big smile on your face. That's what I like. I like to see yeah. people eager to get there in the cage. So I'm looking forward to seeing you in action tonight, and I'll wish you the best of luck, mate. Thanks a lot, mate. Thank you. Here I am with Josh Mottram. Josh is in fight number two tonight, and Josh is from Alliance in Derby. How are you doing today, Josh? Yeah, not bad, thank you. Excellent. Uh, how's your preparation for the fight been going? It's been good, yeah. Um, training with some good lads, training hard. Hopefully I'm ready. So. Do you know much about your opponent? No, I think that's just part of being amateur, isn't it? I don't, yeah. I've not seen much about him, so... Well, that's the thing, again, you know, as an amateur fight, you're getting very sore, you can't really prepare for, you know, someone you don't know too much about. So I'm assuming that we've just been working all areas of your game, or have you been tweaking anything in particular? No, I've just focused on my game, what I'm going to do. But find out when I'm in there kind of thing. Excellent. Well, look, you've got a big smile on your face. I love that attitude. Um, you seem really, really keen to get in there. So what I'll do is I'll wish you the best of luck and I, I will, we'll come here to see you showcasing your skills in the cage Thank tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, fight number two. We're with the Bantamweights and we've got Blue Corner, Wahid Farid from Charles Martin MMA. And in the red corner, Josh Mottram from Alliance Derby. That's up in my neck of the woods. Yeah, both guys undefeated so far in their careers. 1-0 takes on 2-0 respectively. And uh, Fareed coming out looking very unorthodox, very relaxed so far. Oh, I was going to interrupt you there. He is very unorthodox, very jittery. Hands down, that is super, super confident. Yeah, and he's uh, throwing some unorthodox away strikes there. But from uh, Alliance Derby, Mottram has got a good submission game. He'll want to close up that early and uh, that gap early, but nice shots coming in there from Farid. This is what I love about bantamweights: the speed of the strikes. Farid landed four shots in the time it would take me to think about landing one there at light heavyweight. Yeah, and uh, much I'm not too phased. I mean, Farid is an orthodox, as we've mentioned, and he's. You know, he's throwing these strikes, he looks relaxed, but, you know, Motron's in there with him, he's, he's not phased by it. Let's see if he wants to change the tack, though, see if maybe he wants to change the game a little bit. At the moment, he seems content to keep it on the feet. Eating some shots there from uh, Farid. Yeah, Farid is a bit more relaxed, a bit more confident here, a bit more at ease. And up until the last 10 seconds, he's been really dominating the ring, you know, sort of pushing Mosham back into the cage wall, but not taking advantage massively of the clinch and takedown. So it's interesting that neither really are working this takedown yet as Farid comes in with another belter of an explosion of barrage of blows. Yeah, and he's uh, very much counter-punching his Farid at the moment. He's letting Mosham lead with a jab and come in. And uh, good balance there, Sean. Throws a nice shot right hand as uh, his opponent has a single leg. And Some nice shots in the dirty boxing clinch there though from Mottram. And here we go. Look at that fantastic takedown defence from Mottram there. As uh, well, he looks at going to go down low. Mottram turns, drives his head into the body. That was good wrestling. Fantastic wrestling there from Josh Mottram. Yeah, worked his back off the cage. And before Fareed could set himself, shot straight in for that double. He gets himself on top. Let's see if he can make uh, use of this position. First time we've seen these guys on the ground. Uh, Mottram taking a very, very, very tight control point from guard as Wahid's legs open. Mottram goes underneath. He's going to try and pass to one side as Wahid tries to stand back up. 
Yeah, he did a good job there of getting back to his feet, but Mossram straight back on that leg. Relentless, straight in with that single. It makes you wonder, why on earth did he not do that from the word go? If his wrestling's that strong, why did he not do that from the word go? Yeah, both these guys, I mean, they look to have well-rounded skill sets between them. Uh, you see Farid there, in the first instance, he managed to scramble back up to his feet. I'd like to see him, he's got the butterfly hooks in, but he's not really trying to use them to elevate much of him. As I say that, he does exactly that, hits the butterfly sweep back up to his feet. Maybe he was listening to the commentary. It's the commentator's curse, that one is, Jay, is that they just do things just to spite you and make <laughs> you look stupid, trust me. Little cut above the eye there, the right, eye, the left eye, sorry, of Mottram from one of them shots as Farid worked his way back up to his feet. In, what was interesting there is Mottram keeps catching his kicks. I'm going to be uh, very interested to see where this one goes for round two. Okay, so we're in round two. We just saw at the end there, Mottram just uh, had the cuts went in for a small, tiny cut there above the eye. Farid starting very aggressively in round two. Landing big shots there. Hooks coming in and Mottram shoots for the legs. Did exactly what he needed to do there to stop that barrage of punches. But he's going to work. Oh, Farid almost had the switch. Looking for a choke, possibly. Yeah, he was wasting no time settling into round two with Farid there. I think what you saw there was uh, Fareed did not want to be taken down, saw a cut and wanted to capitalise on it. And Mottram quite rightly so, under pressure, super takedown. And back to the feet, we've gone back down. Now Fareed has interestingly got Mottram's head. No, he hasn't, it's popped out. I was gonna say he had an open guard, but it is wide open. Everything about this guy is completely unorthodox. Yeah, he's got his feet on the hips now, controlling the head. Uh, from that position, that's good, obviously, to stop Mottram landing the ground and pound, but as soon as he lets go of the head, you see Mottram pop, pop up and uh, throw down a right hand. But Farid straight away looking to attack with him uh, with a long leg. He's got, you know, quite a long frame for this bantamweight division. He is, yeah. He's given away a couple of pounds uh, to Mottram. Not much, but that is quite a lot when you're looking at smaller weight guys in the bantamweight division has he got butterfly yes he's got butterfly in again so are we going to see this sweep that we saw in round one yeah he's got one butterfly hook in there he's done a good job so far of working back to his feet and as i say that he's back up he's not letting mushrooms settle too much on top you know he's always threatening with a stand-up big knee comes in mushroom looked a little bit wobbled there i think it was just a slip but certainly felt that knee to the body and again you no know, farid is not throwing straight shots everything's coming round the hands and uh, Mottram's eating quite a lot of shots. He is eating them. He's catching most of them on the arms and the gloves. I've got to be honest there. He's got very strong guard. I know this well as a technique of mine is to just stand there and get punched. I mean, it doesn't hurt as much as it looks. However, it's luck. One of those big shots hits and this could be game over. Yeah, nice kick there from uh, Farid. Just had the hands down, threw that kick up high and uh, Mottram, Mottram beckoned him on from there. But that normally means it caught you. That's nice it. shot there from Farid to change up the tactics. Yeah, Farid with a single leg ankle trip there. That was impressive. And uh, Mottram almost had the guillotine, but he's let Farid past. Now he's got the side control. That guillotine's useless. He needs to work. Well, he's done the right thing, scrambling up to his knees. Good pace from these guys, has to be said. Nice turn there from Farid. Now is Mottram going to be able to capitalise half guard and get a sweep back on his opponent? I don't think so. I think Farid's knee is down on the mat. He's almost home and dry on, in terms of at risk of half guard there. So he's in full mount. Where's he going to go? Dying ten, seconds. Ten seconds left. Can Farid make a big impression from this mount uh, position? There's not long left. A few shots coming in, but I don't think he's going to have enough time to finish it. No, right, there we go. We're going to go. We're going to looking like we're going to go the distance on this one, Jay. Okay, so we are back in round three now. Mottram's eye. Cutsman's done a very good job there. It's not swelling at all. It's not bleeding profusely. It's not going to cause him any problems. So we see Leon Roberts just moonwalking on the mats there, just trying to clear up a little bit of uh, leftover water from the corner men. And we're back in action for our third and final round. Three minutes on the clock. We're every second's going to count. Sorry, Jay. Yeah, no, I was just going to say, we've seen Farid start fast in every round so far. And uh, he opened up with some shots there. Not as, quite as uh, frantic pace as round two, though. Probably all still to fight for Lloyd. It has to be said, round one was close. Could have gone uh, Mottram's way. Round two, Farid's way. This third round, both, guy, uh, both guys can take a win here, I feel. You're absolutely right, Jay. I mean, 
Fareed's got the striking, Mottram's got the wrestling, and they're both even Stevens on the grappling. So this is anyone's as Fareed goes in for the single leg. Yeah, nice balance there from Mottram, though, just to stay up on his feet. Looking for that guillotine choke, possibly. Hard to catch with the head inside. And uh, Fareed does get it down and manages to get that pass. And uh, again, he renders that guillotine useless when he uh, gets that side control position. And he's yeah. got the mount a lot earlier. Ah, oh, good work from Mottram there, just to work a knee in. Looking for a leg lock. The cage wall playing into his game plan here as he's utilising it to cut off the side that uh, Fareed would use to really utilise side control. So we go back standing, overhook. So Mottram is going to be very hard pushed to sink the takedown from here with that strong overhook from Fareed. Impressed with the, the well-roundedness of both guys tonight, Lloyd. Say, you know, the relatively newcomers to the amateur ranks. You know, both guys have shown some great skills on the feet, you know, scrambling, using every opportunity to scramble. It's been good stuff so far, very entertaining fight. And uh, Mottram finds himself on top. You're right, bearing in mind this is amateur and an undercard event. Uh, you know, I, I know many promotions that would be happy to, if their main event went to this sort of calibre. Yeah, and Mottram just uh, hunkering down, he's in nice and tight there. He's looking to control the ankle so he can work his pass. But again, Fareed works back to his feet well. He's done, he's done that numerous times and it's worked well for him. Looking for that trip takedown. Uh, Mottram with the standing guillotine, it's not on. That's very, very dangerous. Fareed there just driving forwards with your head stuck. I mean, it's worked, so I'm not going to slate him, but that's still quite dangerous as he sits up. Mottram's got single or double butterfly, double butterfly just. Now he's got single now. Yeah, and someone really needs to make a stamp on this round if they want to win the fight. It's been back and forth so far, but if Fareed can ride it out from his top position, then, uh, you know, the fight could be his. We've seen him on top. I'd like to see him uh, get some posture, really push his hips in and try and, you know, really seal the deal with some big strikes. But a good job there from Mottram. He's got that overhook. And just as I say that, again, he loses it. Fareed would do well to clear that necktie and posture up and really let go with some shots. Ten seconds left. And there you go. Have you actually got a recorder that's going into Fareed's ear somewhere? Because every time you say something, you'd, oh, look at that. Fantastic. I don't even know what that was. That was a flying Superman overhand right thing. And uh, that's how Wajid Fareed will finish off this fight here at Fight UK. We're not judges, Lloyd, but that's why we employ him. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges have rendered a unanimous decision, finding in favour of your winner, from the blue corner, Wajid Farid. Well, let's hear it for a very close runner-up. Let's hear it for Josh Mottram. Blue 